So something that no sports fan missed this week was the signing of Cam Newton to the Patriots. It's just another classic example of Bill Belichick playing chess while the rest of us are playing checkers. See, he signed a previous MVP for what, like 7.5 mil? Bill Belichick playing another low risk, high reward situation with Cam. And I don't think it could be more perfect. I can't talk about Bill Belichick without rolling it in to Tampa Bay to see what Brady and Gronk are doing. A lot of people are really heavy on Tampa Bay props. It's a sexy bet. I know Tom Brady and Gronk in a different place, a different setting, under Bruce Arian. It seems great. But I'm going to go ahead and take the under on the Gronk total receiving yards, and that's at 599 and a half. Gronk's coming off of a retirement year. Not sure if he can get right back into the swing of things, but it's not just that. It's the fact that Tom Brady has two other studly tight ends paired with uh, Mike Evans and Godwin in receivers. And I even heard whispers of Antonio Brown. And for me, that makes my prop that much stronger. So I know that we have all had the same thought about this Disney bubble. Who's breaking out of the bubble and who's going to do the snitching? Well, Commissioner Silver had this idea to create a hotline for people to be able to call and reveal information or tattletale, if you will, for people that are breaking pandemic bubble guidelines. I think we all know that there's going to be a player, <coughs> J.R. Smith, <coughs> James Harden, that might be going in and out of the bubble. The question is, are we sticking to the bro code or are we snitching? All right, y'all, that's all I have for this week. Best of luck and make some money.